that's right, an incredible four <laughs> So, do we already introduce ourselves? Should we do it again for real? Who's going to start? Peter. Hi, I'm Peter Chan, and I'm uh, the lead artist. He drew that pa painting right there, right? <laughs> yes, I did, yes. Okay. I'm Larry Ahern, lead animator. You killed that bird. And I think that was a Leela scene. Oh, okay. She's the animal killer. <laughs> I like the mustache trees in that last shot, Peter. I'm Tim Schaefer, co-project leader of this uh, lovely game. And I am Dave Grossman, other project leader and designer and writer, along with Tim, of this lovely game. That should have been our titles, Co and Other. Co and Other, yeah. yeah. Clint Bajakian, one of the composers. Peter McConnell, one of the composers. Nice. The game has begun, you guys. Okay, so we saw the lovely, what was the name of that classical music that plays during the opening Ros voice? Rossini, uh, William Tell Overture. It's the quiet part of the William Tell Overture. There's two classical pieces that mean mourning in cartoons. Yes, there's that one, and then there's... And the other one is... Uh, da, 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 that's from... Where is that from? Uh, I don't remember. It might be Pierre Gint or something like that. That's a good guess. It's not another place in the Rossini, is it? No, no, I think it's Pierre Gint. I think, I think... But for that opening scene with the music, we actually got the score and, and, yeah. and sequenced the, the ink into the uh, MIDI sequencer. Mm -hmm. That was one of the big panning sequences, like wide pieces of art for the game. Pan oh, the room over. shot? It was a double room? Mm -hmm. And I noticed there's a poster with an L from Laverne and Shirley. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take all, all the world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion.
Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Sleek design, sturdy construction, all in all, a fine phone. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. Laverne's covering that territory. I'm not leaving this motel until I find those tentacles. It's stuck to the floor. 
It's stuck to the floor. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge -o magic machine! and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course, that's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday, through the time machine. This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the chronogen. Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Die! We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Uh-oh. Jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? 
I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs! Yoo-hoo! Dr. Fred? The plans! The plans! Ahem. Are you interested in particle physics? Well, never mind. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. My name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery? <laughs> that sounds even worse than the things I come up with. Maybe I can help cheer you up. Oh, I can hardly wait. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Uh. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Uh. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. 
Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along those lines. Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? What's wrong? I'm having a cry. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I like your design on... Well, I didn't mean... Never mind. I can't reach that from here. I can't see it very well from here. I can't reach that from here. It comes with a handy applicator. Not funny enough. What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? You haven't seen Dr. Fred's plan? No, just these world domination... What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of... Wanna help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylight. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi. Intoxicating three-part vocal harmony? Volume, man, volume. We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. That's great! Yeah! See you later! Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Where did Dr. Fred go? She might get the wrong idea.
I'm afraid. Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather. Say, aren't you Bernard? Yes, that's right. I knew it. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. Um, I better be going. Oh, so it's a secret egg. Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary? Why, yes, I. Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard. Mm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much of my psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that. So what are you up to these days? Don't worry about me. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just said something happened to him. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Hey, don't touch my stamps. I wouldn't want to strain myself. I wouldn't want to strain myself. I wouldn't want to strain myself. It's not exactly the What on earth am I going to do with a flagpole? Sounds like fun, but I've got work to do. Sounds like fun, but I've got work to do. Hey boy, you missed the party! You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night! At the Novelty Goods Salesman's Convention! I tell you, we Novelty Goods Salesmen know how to have a good time! Has anyone ever told you you look 
That's strange. My wife says I look like Charlie Chaplin. Oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! Shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. That cracks me up every time. I do. You haven't seen any batteries? Oh, what a no Okay, but only if you pop. Would I do a th I told you it was a bad. Hi there. What can I do? Nice cigars. Nice. These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. So, want another cigar? Sorry, my mom told me never to smoke. Hey, if I listen to my mom, I would. Well, suit your. Precision made not be nice. Hands off, boy! That's a precision made novelty device. I can't. Uzo's intimidating. You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Then who are you looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. I hate that clown. Not with what's left of my fingernails. Decaf wouldn't help there. The Duke Memorial Brand Microwave. I'm not touching it. These models have a history of... Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? You haven't seen... Nah, didn't... Well...
Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. Nice crowbar. Yeah, I know. Nice crowbar. Yeah, I know. See you later. Yeah. I think it's locked. It's really dirty. It's not my car. Someone wrote wash me in the dust. Some people think that washing one's vehicle will make it rain. Oh? Uh-huh. How about that? Someone wrote wash me. Some people think that washing one's vehicle. Oh? Uh-huh. How about There, it's off. But it's too late now. Warning, do not touch the Sludge-O-Matic 3000. No way, there's things in there that look like they've been there. Doesn't anyone ever clean this thing? Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda... Uh, I want to buy a dime. That will be too... Um, I have a numbered Swiss... What's the number, Um... It's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. Ahem. Late night? Well, never mind. Buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. I don't understand what was wrong with exploding catnip. What did you say you're- I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. The Nice music. It's from the elevator club. Uh, never mind. It's pretty small. I can't reach that from here. I can't see it very well from here. Seen Dr. Fred's plan. 
No, just the... How does a tenta- Oh, that part's easy. I really like the name Sushi. You mean green tea in the sushi plat? Weren't you looking for a new- Yes, but we decided to go with- Have you gotten any air- No, we're a little too experimental for most radios. Are you working on an- Yeah, we're doing a CD called- Ra That's great. Yeah. Why the litter box? Don't ask. Can you actually use that bowl? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arm. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! It looks too heavy for me to pick up. I don't need to take over the world. Wow! This is loud! Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. It's really stuck to the floor. A horticultural horror. I can't touch it, it's spiny. Excuse me. Hi, 
there, see? <laughs> How's Dr. Fred? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, see? How did he wreck the family finance? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about him. What's wrong with sleep? Ordinarily, nothing. But when Fred sleep... How did he manage to... He stopped. You haven't seen it. Super ma... Fred is the one who told me to find them. Oh. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Lexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom wall. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time. <laughs> Something strange is going on in there. Baby, what a man. You ain't kidding, precious. It looks awful heavy. It looks awful heavy. It looks awful heavy. Creepy. It's signed, Edna, thanks for giving me the feet. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. It looks like a physics professor I knew in the second grade. Hey, don't touch me. What happened to the eye? What was the horrible sack? It was sort of like... That hamster really should... Well, Dad put him to work and then he gets... Your dad or the hamster? Are you making... No, I... I get upset. I just meant... Oh, it ma... Relax. Are all your... I don't have any of them. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the bed. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a bird bath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. I've got one just like this packed away in the... Hello, little computer. I respect you, even though you've only got 64K of memory. Jeepers! No, the stereo would fall. Phew. Tell them you
Toto sent you. Thank <laughs> you.